Hello world, it's me again, Hot Cup O Greg, with another episode of Breath of Fire 2! Alright, um... Yeah, the last time we left off... Item quest turn in time. This is what it was all for, guys. This is what all that garbage was for. Très bien! You have gathered excellent ingredients. I can cook a fabulous feast with this. It looks like all the ingredients have been gathered. Then I guess I will put on the finishing touches. Wait, wait, he just has to do finishing touches? We literally did everything. Thank you so much for finding such fine ingredients. I'm really grateful. Please wait in the dining room. Oh, a great meal is made with love, la la la. Alright, what does this guy say? Wait upstairs, don't try to escape. I'm gonna... When we have to fight that guy, and we're gonna, I'm gonna enjoy it. Alright, I'm waiting. What, what, what triggers this? Oh, I gotta talk to the chef? It will begin shortly, so please wait. Oh. Ding, 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 ding. Meal time. We will now conduct a cooking contest. Chow runners out. Contestants, please place your dishes on the table. Oh my god, this is like Iron Chef 1992. Wow, that looks actually pretty appetizing. What in the world? That's bit that wow. I don't know. I mean, Gene has it just on presentation alone. You are a pitiful man. If you didn't try to be the prince again and had remained in the dungeon quietly, your life would have been spared. No, no, no. I don't care about being the prince, but I couldn't place the burden of being Petape's brother on a stranger. The king and princess have arrived. We would appreciate a few words from your majesty, king, if you would please. <coughs> Good luck to both of you. Strange. Father seems serious for a change. I will now explain the rules of the contest. The winner will be chosen by majority vote. And the judges will be the three of us. Alright, so it's the chef the regular chef, and then the... Yeah, okay. The king, the princess, and myself. The head chef. Okay, princess. That's fine. The king and princess will conduct the tasting upstairs. Now first, we will taste the food prepared by Jean. The menu I have prepared is... Worm pasta, fried cockroaches, and fly pudding. All right. Um, it's excellent. The worm is chewy, and the harmony with the roasted garlic is simply marvelous. The cockroaches are deep fried in their own oils. I see, it's crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. Mmm, this, it is the best. This guy's an inside man. He's, he's paid off. These are flies. Oh, you have used blue bottle flies. I'm amazed that you have used such delicacies for a competition with a man like this. Oh yes, the blue bottle fly is of course delicious, but the maggot side dish is perfect. I can ask for nothing more. This really is Iron Chef. It really is. Guys, come on. Now I will taste the opponent's dishes. My menu is worms with calamus sauce, cockroach and green onion salad, and fly pudding. They are all dishes I learned from you years ago. Excuse me, I have never taught you how to cook. Now I will begin the tasting. Absolutely dreadful. First, the worms. Oh, you have used good ingredients, but it's a shame that it's a bit bland. Worms get tough and loose flavor if they are too big. 
Next is the cockroach. Oh, this is a wild cockroach. It's five years old. The best you can get with tender meat, but the combination is unthinkable. For this, you should use a leek rather than green onions. Really? And finally, it is the fly. Let me see. Bink! Oh, oh, this is a delicacy! What is it, head chef? Oh, it's nothing. You have not brought out the good flavor of the fly. This is completely out of the question, in my opinion. Prince Jean's cooking is superior in all dishes. All right, yeah, that's great. That we still have two people to go. The other two dishes may have a few flaws, but the fly is a different story. There is no way that you, as head chef, can appreciate the gold fly dish. Boom. Drop the bombshell. I, um... I think my brother is the winner. His gold fly pudding is so wonderful, it more than makes up for the other two dishes. The winner is... Prince Jean. Which... From where I am standing, the one on the left. If you're not satisfied with that, have the other cooks taste it. Alright, what are we doing? Oh, here we go. It's awful. It's absolutely bad. It's awful. It's absolutely bad. Uh, it's awful. It's awful, but I'll take another bite. The cooks here can't be trusted. They're all taking the side of the imposter. I told you, paid off. Jury tampering, jury tampering. Nina, and Nina, please eat it. If you eat it, it will show that my brother's cooking is good. Please eat it. Eat all of it. Well, Nina, take it one for the team, girl. You have wings. You're like half bird. This should be delicious. Or... Oh, okay. I have to do it. Nina ate the food. It didn't taste bad, but it made him a little sick. Wait, 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 wait. Nina ate it, but it made him sick. Nina's a girl. Nina ate the food. He feels nauseous. Is this his imagination? Nina ate the food. Not a guy. Nina ate the food. Nina thought about the ingredients. Worms, cockroaches, flies. Gack! Nina vomits. Ah! I can't believe you would do that! This is all over! This country will be taken over by an imposter, and we will all be killed! Ah! In that case, we're better off without this castle! I'll blow it all up! I'll blow it all up! Wow. Overreact much? What? She'll blow up the castle. We finally won it back. I won't let you blow it up. We... No, my sister is in danger. Oh, snap. Please forgive me. I was being threatened by the imposter. But at this point, that's not an issue. Please protect Matape Master Jean in this castle. Yeah, let's do it. Where are we going? Let's find out. Uh, where would they go? I mean, you would have to go into the basement to blow up the castle. My guess. Uh, going under here? Did, did, no, no, doesn't appear so. Does not appear they went this way. Alright, so I need to find where they would go. Where would they go? Is that storage room? Would that be where they went, maybe? I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell me something. The windmill on the roof pumps water. Okay, thanks for telling me something I already knew. Look at her. She's not going to get out of the way. Look at her. Just stand there. I'm just going to go back and forth because my walking pattern only allows me to go below this bridge, not above it. How weird. Nope. I'm just going to stay here. All right. We wasted enough, like, seconds on that. I'm sorry. That was just dumb. High five. Programming. Programming. 
What's up? What are you talking about? The winner is the left gene. The winner is the left gene. <laughs> All right, I, I think it's got to be in that storage room. That's got to be where we got to go. I mean, I it would make sense because it's the only place I haven't been. So, what? Isn't there a secret around here? Come on, secret doorways or something. All right, that was useless. Absolutely bloody useless. Hey, they disappeared. Oh no, ghosts. All right, we're gonna, I mean, this should just take us to the storage room, which if you had, you know, black powder in the Middle Ages, it would be in the storage room. But of course it's not in the storage room. Where are these people? Where are they? I'm just kidding. I'm not actually frustrated. <laughs> Got you though. Alright. Uh, here we go. Um, actually, I think we made more than enough headway in this video. We figured out, you know, that this castle is going to be blown up. So that's a good time to take a break off our little quest. So yeah. Peace. Be awesome one another, guys. See you next time.